Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ryan Oakley from WeddingPhotographyGig.com and this is step 8 of the Pro Photography website tutorial uh, powered by SmugMug. And step 8, this is the last step before, um, before our site's complete and, uh, and I hand your site over to you and uh, I'm super excited. If you've made it this far, you're a champion. You've made it through some uh, some pretty long videos and uh, and uh, through my voice for quite a long time. So that in and of itself is worthy of congratulations. But beyond that, you are getting very close to having your full uh, photography website up and running, ready to show clients and get uh, get new clients and all that fun stuff. So in this last video, we are going to be doing just some little customization tweaks. So some of the some of the tweaks that we're going to be doing here, uh, they're quite small, but they're ones that I really think should be done to really clean up this site. So one of the first things I'm going to do is go back to our easy customizer and fix up this uh, this footer section here that SmugMug has by default. After that, we're going to go into the custom style sheets, the CSS stuff, which is where the advanced customization comes in. But one thing we're going to do is push down our whole page a little bit uh, away from the top so that just gives us a little bit of white space that we, I, w I feel like I want to create. And I'll uh, go into visitor view and just show you what I mean here. Wow, actually in visitor view, um, this is kind of exactly what I want it to be. But if I really was logged out, this little box here would disappear and this whole thing would shift up really close to the top of the page. So we're going to do that. and. We are also going to do some stuff in the work with me page. I want to get rid of this gallery pages one. I want to get rid of this uh, um, breadcrumb here. I want to get rid of this slideshow button. And I think we're going to also be touching up these uh, these galleries a bit. Actually, I think we're, what we're going to do is get rid of this breadcrumb here that shows up. So we're going to get rid of the breadcrumb kind of everywhere. All right, so let's get to that. So I want to go into owner view and go back to our home page. And the first thing we're going to do is fix our footer. So we're going to go into the easy customizer and we're going to go over to footer. And right now it says show full smug mug footer, which is this thing down here and instead we are going to do the mini one because there's too much stuff I find in the full one um, and I'm gonna keep my login link it just makes it convenient for me show shopping cart le link makes it convenient for my clients and show help link is convenient for me and my clients so I'm gonna select that as well so there's a little help link in there so that's great So I'm gonna go ahead and click publish and hit OK And from within our easy customizer screen, we can also hit this advanced site-wide customization. So let's click that button and go into this section of our the back end part of our site. And what we want to focus in on is this cascading style sheet code, CSS code uh, box. And this is where you can do magical things with your site, pretty much anything you want. Uh, can be done through this CSS code and some of these other boxes um, to have a better understanding of what all this stuff is. I am not an expert on customizing sites and getting into the um, really crazy nuts and bolts of what can happen so or what you can do. So instead, I will just show you where you would get help and where you would start. Because once you do have your site up and running and you finish this tutorial, you may very well want to make a whole bunch of changes and you can do that. Uh, start here, going into that help section, advanced look using CSS and HTML, and just follow, read all of this stuff, and it will guide you. So without explaining really anything of what we're going to be doing, I'm going to stick with my quick and easy approach, and I'm just going to copy in some code that I already researched and already know works. I saved it in a Word file. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to move into my box and I'm going to right click and paste. 
So the first one is to hide the breadcrumbs. I call it bread crumbs. I don't know why. Bread crumbs when not logged in. So when I'm not logged in, so when a visitor comes and views my site, they're not going to see that those brun brun breadcrumb trail uh, that I showed you earlier. So that's the code to make that happen. Hide page navigation, slideshow button, and album navigation for the work with me gallery page. So this is the code that's needed to um, hide uh, some of those unwanted things that I showed you a little bit earlier on the uh, work with me gallery page. Move entire website down the page by 50 pixels. And that's the coding right there to do that. And then change color of H2, which are the titles for the work with me page to blue. And there's the coding for that. So pretty simple. And that's all you have to do. And that information, if you want to just copy paste that code, uh, you can find that on my website on the step eight page. And I'll show you a link in the video for that. And that's where you can grab that code if you really do want to make your site look exactly like mine. Perfect. Update. And let's go back to our site and see what those changes are. So you can see our page was pushed down a little bit. If I go into client galleries, oh, I need to go into visitor view first. So there's the breadcrumb trail when I'm logged in. Helps me navigate around easy. But I don't really want to show that to my clients because they can always navigate through here or the back button. So it's just something that, that I use to clean up my site. And then most importantly, the work with me page. You can see that my I have that nice blue text now. I lost that uh, slideshow button in the gallery. So this is looking um, like the finished product. And lastly, you can see the footer down here has uh, is just a little bit cleaned up. So we are done. That is step eight, and your site is complete. So if, <laughs> it's just a yeah. That was an epic journey. Hopefully. Uh, you found value in it and I was clear in my instructions and that you have uh, you're really happy with your smug mug site don't forget um, if you use the um, if you used my affiliate link through my site to sign up with smug mug to get started with this tutorial that's great when your 14 day free trial is up uh, that coupon code that will save you 20% on your first year with smug mug will automatically be applied um, if you found this tutorial while you already had a smug mug site and you were in the 14 day free trial, go ahead and use my coupon code, which is wedding photo. No, what is it? Wedding gig W E D D I N G G I G as the coupon code and you'll save 20% on your first year of smug mug. If you're thinking, since you customize your site, you're definitely going to need at the very least a, a power account, which allows you to go beyond the smug mug template um, with with your site. And if you're a pro, which this uh, tutorial was was uh, geared towards pros or, or wannabe pros, uh, you'll definitely want to get a pro account because that way you'll be able to sell prints. And speaking of selling prints, uh, I am going to be creating a bonus video, a bonus tutorial, which will show you how to set your prints or set your prices on your prints and uh, the things that people can buy through your smug mug site so that you can make a profit which is a wonderful thing so you definitely want to check that out and i'll put a link to that video at the end of this one all right thanks for joining me on this journey and we'll talk to you later